deep in Western Australia, the Piramanskis are gambling their savings on finding fire opal. Adam and I have kind of thrown money at it, time at it. So if we don't come up with anything, oh, I don't know. The highest quality fire opal is a vivid burnt red or sunny yellow. The more transparent, the more valuable. The pocket of opal they're on has had its valuable colour bleached by the sun. It's not great stuff, but the fact that it's producing that on the surface, it's good. Below the surface, they hope to find fire opal with colour. What I'll do is I'll start drilling relief holes in here. So if things start sending cracks, it's going to crack in the relief hole, not in the stone. Look at that. Yeah. OK, so there's a little bit here as well. See that? Yeah. yeah. So this is the gamble that we run with this sort of stuff, is that you could be digging for the next two days and it'll keep looking the same. And you could walk away and maybe about that far away will be good quality stuff. So it's a gamble. Hang on. No, it's just the dirt yeah. in the back. Yeah. A little rubbish. Yeah. The pocket has come to an end. There's nothing of value. I'm going to cut that, Jenny. It happens. You can't get disappointed on every, every single time it doesn't come up trumps or else you'll do your head in. You just gotta move on. You have good days, you have bad days. This isn't really producing the way that we want to. No, it's not. Unfortunately, the actual pocket when it produced wasn't uh, a fire opal. For Adam and I, I mean, there's lots that we want to do with our life. You know, holidays, house, have a family. So taking time out to do this and throwing money into it, yeah, it means that kind of all slows down a bit and kind of comes to a bit of a halt. With over 50 years' experience prospecting, the pressure's on Pete to deliver. We're going to go to a new area that I've uh, tried to scrub bass through and then I found an old track that goes way out and then comes back in again to the escarpment. Pete's got an idea of where he wants to go. I think he's been there before. Um, while ago, so it's, I think now it's uh, a case of finding it again. I've got a nice little handful of red opal there, so there should be more there. This is it. I just do remember having lunch here and looking at the ground, and it's definitely the place. Should be just up ahead. Eureka. Go up through here. It's going to be exciting, this one. It'll be interesting to see what we see. Oh. Wow, there's a seam right there. Look at that. As clear as daylight. That's got me excited. Hard, hard, nice, definite seam. Oh, look at that. What? Whilst it's a large deposit, the exposed opal has been discoloured by the sun. It's worthless. But beneath it, they hope, is the valuable colour they're looking for. Well, I'll try and follow this. It might go into a bit of a pocket. Just follow the trace. Yep. This is very, very hard rock, and Adam's going to earn his keep. Ooh, Adam, what's this? Oh, no way. It is so thick from this side. Look at that. That is good size. I'm the man. For the Piramanskis, there are good signs in a pocket of fire opal but the fragile gem is trapped in hard granite. Digging fire opal out, it's not an easy task at all. You can't take a jackhammer too close to it because you'll shatter it. I've broken many of a beautiful piece into two pieces just because I was too impatient to get it out. So what I'm trying to do here is create myself a ledge so I can come in with a spade bit and just cut away at it take nice big chunks away. Look at that.
but it looks like that seam is running underneath that way. It's all just full of opal. So I'm gonna have to try and dig underneath it and lift it up, hopefully in a couple of large pieces. Yeah. Oh, look at it underneath. Can we lift it? Ready? Yep. Look at that. Oh, you beauty. Oh, look oh, at the size oh, of that. Yeah, wow. <laughs> well, that, that is a jackpot. jackpot. Look at that. That'd be a one off. Nothing like that's been discovered in the world. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is huge. Oh my god. Look at this one. It's all still one piece. There. Two. Oh my god. Oh, Adam, you have done so much. Look at that. Look at that one. Bad, that bad, is insane. Bad, 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 bad. Look. Yeah. Oh. That is huge. That is insane. The fire crew have unearthed a massive 15 kilograms of fire opal. I just wanted to keep lifting that rock up and it just keep popping out. It was like a, it was like a treasure chest. Yeah, I'm super proud of mum and dad. Finding a pocket like that, that's one in a million. I'm just blown away how big the pocket was. Back at camp, it's time to estimate the value. So, day one. I'm over the moon, but it's hard to put a price mm. on it until it's cut. Yeah. Too much moisture in it, it'll uh, it'll shatter. It, it won't break clean. But as a miner, miner's price, I wouldn't sell all that under $30,000. 30 grand today? Pay for the fuel and the beer. <laughs> Their target this season is $120,000. This estimated $30,000 haul sees them off to a flying start. And we'll, uh, we'll get out there and follow it and see what else we can get. Absolutely. Imagine. Group hug. Oh, good job. Oh, well done. Group hug. That's what we need. Awesome. Well done.